Most of you with forward head posture have significant tension in your suboccipital muscles found right here under the base of the skull. And actually, right now, if you go ahead and take your thumbs and just go right from the back of your earlobes, locate the skull bone and start to travel up the skull. I want you to just push in to the bone there and see if you find any tender points. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure in and just holding. Notice if any of those are tender. The bone that you just felt with your thumbs, your occiput bone, is where all the red suboccipital muscles attach here on the right hand side. You can see they're very short, maybe only an inch or two. They attach to the top couple of vertebra and right up under the skull bone where you were just palpating or feeling with your thumb. And when the head sits forward with forward head posture, over time, lactic acid builds up in these muscles because they're overworking. And we also get a reduced range of motion in the head and neck. Very difficult to look over our shoulders. And headaches are very frequent, particularly headaches that start in this region here, right up under the skull, helping to give you that muzzy head and travel right up over, often right over the ears, right up over and into the eyes, oftentimes just one side or another. So next I'm going to show you a lovely little home exercise you can do to traction or stretch out these tiny little suboccipital muscles that are so hard to get at. Watch the next lecture now to learn how to do this.